Hi, I'm Mrs. McDonald, and today I get to read a story to you that has to do with my favorite subject, math. And one of my favorite things in math is fractions. Now, that wasn't true when I was a kid, but it is now. And some of these things like this book help people understand them better, so maybe you'll enjoy fractions a little younger than I did. This book is delicious. You know, fractions can be delicious. Um, the Hershey's Milk Chocolate Fractions Book by Jerry Pallotta and Rob Bossler. Sounds like a good, delicious idea to me. I even had an excuse to get this. A whole pack of Hershey bars just for this story. So <laughs> that makes me happy. And this is one whole, before we even get into the book, one whole pack and it has six parts so each candy bar is one-sixth of a whole pack. So before I even get to the book, I can start thinking fractions. And that's pretty exciting to me. So here we go. I'm going to open it up. And I think the story starts with one whole Hershey bar. So I'm going to put that there. One whole Hershey bar. Okay, so here we go. Milk chocolate, ooh, delicious. Here is a Hershey's milk chocolate bar, the kind Milton Hershey made famous. Before we eat it, we are going to learn about fractions. One out of one is one. So you can either say one out of one, one Hershey bar out of one Hershey bar, or you can just say one. Oh, it looks like we get to unwrap the goodness. Let's start by taking the wrapper off. Remember not to litter. Here we have one whole milk chocolate candy bar. And what is a fraction? A fraction is a part or portion of a whole thing. We are using a Hershey's milk chocolate bar as our whole thing. 12 twelfths. If you break this candy bar apart, you will see 12 equal sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You can stack the 12 equal sections on top of each other. Hey, it looks different, but any way you rearrange them, they still equal one whole candy bar. Maybe this is an, the easiest way to understand fractions. What would you rather eat? One twelfth of a candy bar? Or would you rather eat 11 twelfths of a candy bar? If you love milk chocolate, the answer is simple. As you can see, doing fractions can be fun. So, here's a whole candy bar, and here's a whole candy bar. But this one's broken up into 12 twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And if you're like me, you'd rather eat 11 twelfths than 1 twelfth. One half. Here is one half of a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. And here is the other half. Six twelfths is equal to one half. When two fractions equal each other, they are called equivalent fractions. So here we have a half and here we have a half. One half is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, six twelfths. One third. Here is one third of a whole Hershey's milk chocolate bar. How did we get to the fraction of one third? Think of it like this. Our candy bar can be divided into three equal groups. Each of the three groups has four sections. What is left over is two thirds. One third plus two thirds equals three thirds. When the top number and the bottom number are the same, the fraction is equal to one. See there? One third plus two thirds. So here's one whole candy bar or one, two, three equal parts or each is one third. One third plus one third plus one third is three thirds. One third plus two thirds is three thirds. And two th one third plus two thirds is one whole. Four twelfths. Four twelfths equals one third. Here's another way of saying one third. Four twelfths is equal to one third. 
So if we take one third, it has four pieces. One, two, three, four. And those are each one twelfth of the whole. So four twelfths is the same as one third. What is left over? Eight twelfths. Eight twelfths is equal to two thirds. Four twelfths plus eight twelfths equals 12 twelfths, which equals one whole candy bar. So here we have the four twelfths. Here we have eight twelfths. And if we put them all together, we have one. One fourth. Here is one fourth of a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. If you want to call this fraction one quarter, that is okay too. Here is what is left over, three fourths, or you could call it three quarters. One quarter plus three quarters equals four quarters or one. And here they are. Here's three pieces. We took one candy bar, I divided in four pieces. Each are the same, each have three little tiny pieces. So one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. One fourth plus three fourths equals four fourths or one. Three twelfths. Three twelfths is another way of saying one fourth. Did you know that the top number of any fraction is called the numerator and the bottom number is called the denominator? Now you know. So if we take one of these, we'd have three of the little one twelfths, right? So three twelfths is the same as one fourth. Let's explain it another way. Three fourths is equal to nine twelfths. So here we have three fourths is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine twelfths. So one fourth or three twelfths plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth or three twelfths and three twelfths and three twelfths or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine twelfths equals one whole candy bar. I guess we'll slide it together. One whole candy bar. So three twelfths plus nine twelfths equals twelve twelfths equals one. Now, one fifth. It's time for something different. We can still do fractions without the candy bar. There are five cows on this page. Four cows have black spots and one cow has red spots. One fifth of the cows on this page has red spots. Did you ever wonder why Hershey's Chocolate Factory was built in the middle of farm country? There is an easy answer, milk. One of the three main ingredients used in making milk chocolate is milk. If six cows mood and you mood also, your moo would be one seventh of all the moos on this page. Don't forget to ignore the duck. <laughs> Quack. So here's moo. Oh, somebody's in the outhouse. That must be me. Moo, 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 moo. Six cows and one person. So that's seven, seven things are mooing. Six sevenths are cows and one seventh is, I guess, me. Okay. One sixth. Back to the candy bar. We need to learn how to put a fraction into its lowest terms. If you divide the numerator and the denominator by the same factor, you can simplify this fraction to its lowest terms. One sixth is the lowest term of two twelfths. But see, they're taking two twelfths, they're dividing it by the same number on the numerator as the denominator, and they're getting one sixth. So this is one sixth of the candy bar. And this is five sixths of the candy bar. Five sixths is what's left over from a whole candy bar after removing one sixth, eating one sixth. So here is one sixth of the candy bar, and here are five sixths. One, two, three, four, five sixths of the candy bar. So this is also two if you had out of the 12. So two twelfths 
is the same thing as one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, one sixth. So the way they did it though is divide two twelfths by the same number on the top and the bottom. Two twelfths. Here is an equation that's easy to understand. One sixth is equal to two twelfths, which we already showed you that. Here's one sixth, and it's the same as two twelfths. Mm -mm. Here's another way to say five sixths, ten twelfths. It is starting to look more delicious after every fraction we show. It's time for another break. Chocolate comes from cocoa pods. The cacao tree grows in very warm and moist climates. Here are eight pods. If one pod fell off and bonked you on the head, you would have been bonked on the head by one eighth of the cocoa pods on this page. One ninth. Cocoa, milk, and sugar are the three main ingredients used in making milk chocolate. Sugar usually comes from sugar cane. If you cut down one stalk, you will have cut down one ninth of the sugar canes on left on this field. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you cut down one, you cut down one ninth of all of them. Five twelfths. Here is an interesting fraction. It is already in the lowest terms. The fraction five twelfths cannot be broken down or reduced any further. The amount left over from five twelfths is seven twelfths. Seven twelfths is another fraction that is in its lowest terms. Here is a way to get a fraction of one tenth. There are ten candy bars on this page. One out of ten candy bars is unwrapped. Here is a fraction where the top number is larger than the bottom number. It is called an improper fraction. Thirteen twelfths is really one and one twelfth. Whoever made this fraction used more than one candy bar. Maybe they ate eleven twelfths of one of them. So far in this book, we learned that the main ingredients in milk chocolate are sugar, milk, and cocoa. We also learned the fractions one twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, nine twelfths, ten twelfths, eleven twelfths, twelve twelfths, and even thirteen twelfths. We also did fractions of one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one seventh, one eighth, one ninth, and one tenth. If you want to know what fraction of the ingredients are used in making a Hershey's milk chocolate bar, sorry, these fractions are top secret. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I sure did, and I'm going to, going to enjoy cleaning up after it too. I hope you understand fractions a little bit better, and I hope that you're not scared of them because they can be a lot of fun. In fact, they can be delicious.